Let us now pray the oratio for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsor, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of God's love. Let us humbly acknowledge our many sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command so that we may merit what you, did, you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, we are not debtors to the flesh to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put death the deeds of the body, you will live. For those who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. 
for you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you received a spirit of adoption through which we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If only we suffer with him, so that we may also be glorified with him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our God is the God of salvation. Our God is the God of salvation. God arises, his enemies are scattered, and those who hate him flee before him. But the just rejoice and exult before God. They are glad and rejoice. Our God is the God of salvation. The father of orphans and the defender of widows is God in his holy dwelling. God gives a home to the forsaken. He leads forth prisoners to prosperity. Our God is the God of salvation. Blessed day by day be the Lord, who bears our burdens, God who is our salvation. God is a saving God for us. The Lord, my Lord, controls the passageways of death. Our God is the God of salvation. Please stand. Our spirit and life, you have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was teaching in a synagogue on the Sabbath, and a woman was there who for 18 years had been crippled by a spirit. She was bent over, completely incapable of standing erect. When Jesus saw her, he called to her and said, Woman, you are set free of your infirmity. He laid his hands on her, and she at once stood up straight and glorified God. But the leader of the synagogue, indignant that Jesus had cured on the Sabbath, said to the crowd in reply, There are six days when work should be done. Come on those days to be cured, not on the Sabbath day. The Lord said to him in reply, Hypocrites, does not each one of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or his ass from the manger and lead it out for watering? This daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound for eighteen years now, ought she not to have been set free on the Sabbath day from this bondage? When he, had, when he said this, all his adversaries were humiliated, and the whole crowd rejoiced at all the splendid deeds done by him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, our readings today teach us some lessons about concern for other people. 
In our gospel, Jesus heals a woman who for 18 years had been crippled by a spirit. She was bent over, hukot, incapable of standing erect. Hindi na makatayo ng tuwid for 18 long years. And this particular day, Jesus heals her. But the leader of the synagogue was not happy about it simply because Jesus healed on a Sabbath day, the day of rest. Jesus is teaching us today that healing, caring, doing good, showing concern for others does not choose any time or any day. That is the first lesson about concern for others. Showing love and concern does not follow any schedule. It, is, it does not follow any time because it is done all the time. Ang pagkalinga at pag-ibig walang pinipiling oras o araw. Ito'y ginagawa sa lahat ng panahon sa lahat ng oras. Our first reading today presents us another lesson about concern and care for others. St. Paul in our first reading today highlights the fact that we have received the spirit of adoption and because of the spirit that we received, we became children of God. God became our Father. And because we are children of God, then we are co-heirs with Jesus, the only begotten Son of God. Tayo'y naging anak ng Diyos, at dahil anak ng Diyos, kapatid ni Heso Kristo. By saying that, St. Paul tells us of the foundational connection, the basic relationship that we have with God. We are children of God. No wonder God is so concerned with us because He is connected with us. It is that connection, that relationship, that made God send Jesus to save us. The most powerful expression of God's concern for us. This tells us that concern for others is driven by our relationship with one another. The lack of connection with other people causes lack of concern for them. But if we identify with other people, if we see ourselves in them, then concern would flow spontaneously. My dear brothers and sisters, concern does not choose any time. Loving does not follow any schedule because loving and concern are shown at all times. And concern is moved by our capacity to relate with each other because we are brothers and sisters because I can see myself in you, then I feel concern and care for you. 
Do we have that kind of concern? Is our concern conditioned by time? Baka yung ating pagkalinga sa ibang tao, ginagawa lang natin kapag convenient, kapag maluwag ang schedule. Pero kapag day off, kapag pahinga ko, hindi rin ako magpapakita ng aking pagkalinga sa aking kapwa. May oras lang, may panahon lang. Magpapas ko, o kaya extra generous tayong lahat. Pero kapag hindi na panahon ng kapaskuhan, parang nagkukulang na rin sa generosity at concern sa kapwa. And do we see our relationship with one another? Am I concerned only about my own family? Or is my concern, does my concern extend to other people outside my family, outside my groups, because other people are also my brothers and sisters? If I do not see connection to other people, I may not also be able to show concern to them. We are being joined in this Mass by the graduates of the Pamantasa ng Lunsod ng Maynila College of Medicine who are preparing for their physician licensure exams this coming weekend. And we thank you for joining our Mass today as you prepare for this examination. You will be our future doctors. And being a doctor is not a profession. It is in fact a vocation, a mission. Because through your hands, Jesus continues to heal. Through your hands, Jesus continues to show concern to other people. Sana kapag naging doktor, walang oras ang pagtulong at pagpapagaling. Walang schedule. Kahit anong oras, kahit anong panahon, tutulong, aasikasuhin ang ating mga pasyente. Sana makita rin natin yung concern sa ating connection sa isa't isa. Hindi lamang natin titingnan yung mga pasyente bilang mga pasyente, kundi nanay, tatay, kapatid na nangangailangan ng ating tulong. May koneksyon para may malasakit sa ating ginagawa. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, let us ask God's grace that we may be like Jesus, that we may show love and concern for all at all times. Please stand. The better we know God, the more we realize our total dependence on Him. Aware of our limitations, we pray in our hope helplessness to God the Father. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the church may give their lives totally in the service of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may have the generosity of heart to break through our self-preoccupation and try to reach out to others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may see in the poor and those who suffer the face of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that we may console and comfort the sick and those who are in trouble. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may live forever with God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
In silence, let us pray for our personal petitions. Let us remember the people who need our prayers. Let us include in our prayers those who are preparing for the phys physician licensure examinations. And let us also include the intentions offered in this Holy Mass. Lord God, we commend our intentions to your provident care. Listen to our humble prayers and inspire us to be servants like Jesus, who hears the cry of the needy people. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service, may be directed above all to your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot 
at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs, we may one day possess in truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. We wish to thank you for attending our Mass this morning. We especially thank those who are preparing for the Physician Licensure Examinations. We wish you well and we pray for you. We ask God's Spirit, the Spirit of Wisdom, to be with you as you take this examination. We shall now give you the blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God bless you with every heavenly blessing, make you always holy and pure in His sight, pour out in abundance upon you the riches of His glory, and teach you with the words of truth. May He instruct you in the gospel of salvation and ever endow you with the fraternal charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. At laging tugon, paririto handa kami, Panginoon. 